Hey everybody, so um, a few days ago, a few weeks ago, I was talking about I'm gonna do a, a video about how I uh, replenish my uh, potting soil in uh, spring and also uh, how do I uh, fertilize it to give it a good jump start. So, um, so I just want to show you what my, uh, how I'm gonna do it and my routine and why I'm using it. So, uh, so first we're gonna need uh I have I'm using the compost hummus. You can get this from Lowe's for two dollars. In fact any compost will do. You can use any compost. Um if you don't have compost you can do alfalfa meal as well, doesn't matter. And then this right here is uh the crab shell meal that I use. Um it's totally optional for a lot of you. The reason I use it is because in my area I have a uh, roadnut nemeto, and uh, the crab, uh, the crab meal is uh, very good at suppress it, and that is why I'm using it just in case. Um, because I know I have roses in my garden that has roadnut nemeto, and I'm just gonna proactively trying to help and prevent that. So if you don't have that problem in your area you don't really need it unless you already have it then you can use it um this right here this is uh, actually a slow slow release uh chicken manure this is a 40 pound bag i got it from uh, ace hardware for 20 dollars only this is really good stuff for anything for your roses for your um vegetable garden anything okay so and the best part about it is it doesn't stink it doesn't have the smell so um and it doesn't burn the root so this is why i like it um so i i think it's very cheap 20 dollars for 40 pounds you can beat that you know and um so that is a good 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 one to add i think it's better than cow manure because a lot of the time the cow manure if you buy it from the store sometimes they are not really age well and you have a potential to to burn your root so i don't really like to use that that much um this is the azomite uh the azomite is something that i read that is recommended by uh, david austin and what it do is uh it is actually the mineral is to replenish the mineral inside your soil and it will help your soil to absorb the, the 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 nutrition better so um i bought this from amazon i'm and you don't really need a lot of it so uh, i'm just going to demonstrate to you how much i use and how do i mix for all of them um and let's get started so uh, i have this uh this is a five i think it's a five gallon bucket i'm not so sure this is the bucket i get it from Home Depot, I think it's it's not five gallon. I'm not sure how many gallon it is, but you know the normal bucket that I get, I use that to mix my soy and everything else. Um, so I have this uh the big cup that you guys probably get it from the the large soda drink size cup. Okay, and so first I'm gonna scoop about three big cup of the compost. Okay three cups of the manure and two cups of the crab meal okay and then i'm gonna gonna put it in the bucket all right so remember three cups of the compost three cups of the manure and two cups of the crab meal okay let me do it right now okay and and then i'm gonna use this very small cup and I'm gonna do about quarter cup of the of the azomite, okay? Just a very little, just quarter cup of it. Okay, so once I have it in there, then I'm just gonna start mixing. Mix carefully because you do have powder in there. The azomite powder might fly everywhere you go. You mix them, so try to mix them fully. Don't mix them too too fast because you want them to mix it very like not like a big gunk of stuff everywhere. Especially the powder of the azomite. It's very fine. It's like, almost like a rock powder.
All right, so this is how it looks like after it's mixed. Let me show you the mixture. You see, this is how it looks like. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply around my roses. I'll show you how I applied it, okay, in just a second. All right, so this is my uh, pot, the base of my uh, Red Eden. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop this up. I'm gonna spread it around it, the base of it. Okay, and then I am going to use my spade to kind of work it in. So that it will not just stay at the top of it. Okay, like that. All right. Okay. You see it now? And then the next step, what you're gonna do is you are going to water your plants. Okay. So once you water it, it will well mix in. It will melt inside there, and then you know it will be good so so um that's it it's very easy so now i'm going to show you the another additional uh fertilizer i'm using for my climber as well so this is the the jobs uh fertilizer spike that i only use in spring to give my spring bloom uh, extra boost now this thing is really really good but i have so many roses in my garden so I can only afford to use it in, in some of my I know the big spring performer in my garden so um so I only use it for my climber for now so for a climber of this size like Red Eden I uh, I usually uh, use about four four stick in here now for the huge one that I have um, at my uh, and my uh, like Spirit of Freedom and my James Galway, I'm gonna show you. All right, so like my Spirit of Freedom, you see how big it is right here? It's huge. Um, same thing with my James Galway, it's also really, really big. So this one is also very, very big. Um, I use about six or eight of them with around them. So you just have to uh, adjust according to the size of your plant. Like if you want to use it for the, the regular shrub like this, um, you can use just about two for each of them. Okay, so so it's up to you. If you have the money, go ahead and put it on all, of, all the roses that you have. If you don't, you want to be, be effective, only use it at where it really need to be, then I'll put it on the, on the climber because the climber is a lot more bigger and it will deliver a lot more bloom so it need that extra boost for the spring all right i hope it helps and uh hopefully you guys will have your beautiful spring bloom soon and uh, let me know if you have any question i will list uh, all the product inside the description link okay talk to you then bye